Panic Diary, April the 25th. 20,000 dead, that's the official number. The Financial Times thinks it could be more than double that. But even so, this is a bleak day. <sighs> Back in March, I was having a, a big argument on Twitter with Peter Hitchens of the Mail on Sunday. Death's useful idiot. The columnist who kills his readers thought um, this was all over the top. And maybe um, we would get away with a number like 5,700 dead in the whole year. Hitchens, you were wrong. You're a disgrace. But we all know that. So, the good news. <laughs> one, one silver lining is that Kim Jong-un, the fatty, fat, fat, fat despot of North Korea, hasn't been seen since April the 11th. He missed April the 15th, which is the birthday of Kim Il-sung, and that's the holiest day in that dark state's calendar. So, the rumour is he's dead. Um, we don't know, but the longer he stays out of the public eye, um, the more dangerous it is for him. He's the kind of despot who needs to appear on the telly pretty much every working day to make sure that um, his minions don't come for him. The reason I'm talking about Kim Jong-un, not just that I've um, been there and I'm um, fascinated by a nation state that um, is run along the lines of the Church of Scientology. That's a kind of cult. But also the other thing. In North Korea, there are no journalists. If you're a true journalist, you're in trouble or you're dead. So when the British government, when it looks like Dominic Cummings, writes stuff about um, no wonder um, public support for journalism keeps on going down, Watch your tongue, Dominic Cummings. Journalism matters. It is part of who we are. And it defends us against overbearing power. Now wash your hands.